Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get stretch resolution in, uh, in Fortnite. The, uh, the resolution you guys are going to be getting is going to be 1798 by 1080 I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this video, but I've just been really lagging it lately because I've been making other videos right now. Um, but today I decided why not just make a video on this so you guys can like, uh, so I can share this opportunity with you guys so you guys can use it also. But anyways, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment on the video. I appreciate all that. Uh, we actually reached 2K about like five days ago, four or five days ago, and I appreciate that so much. Um, the channel is just going to continue growing and everything like that. And hopefully we reach like, I would say like probably like 5K or 10K by the end of this year. Because I know it's possible, but let's just see. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go down here to where it says type here to search. And... You're gonna type in percent app data percent and you're just gonna press enter and it's gonna take you here um you're gonna click back to app data you're gonna go to local you're gonna go to fortnite game you're gonna go to saved you're gonna go to config windows client uh right here where it says game user settings um <clears throat> right now it might mine says read only because i already have it added but i'm gonna just untick this just um show you guys so when you open up game user settings, you're going to see all this information. Don't worry about any of this. You're going to go to one specific area. If I can find it, let me see right here. So it's going to say last user confirmed resolution. <clears throat> and it's also going to say resolution size X. So any of these that say resolution size or anything like that, you're going to change those to 1798. So yours might say like, like, I don't know, like 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080, but you're just going to change all these to 1798. You don't need to leave the 1080 alone. You do not need to change this. You just need to change the first number. So each one of them, they should say 1798, just like that. You just got to type it in 1798. So make sure all those are changed. And then there's actually another one at the bottom is desired screen width is going to be 1798 also. And you're just going to make sure your last user confirmed desired screen width says 1798 also. It's so like that. After that, you're just going to want to press file, save. And then you're just going to click on it again and go to properties and put it at read only so that when you open the game, your, um, your resolution doesn't change. It stays the same. But after that, you're not done yet. You need to go to NVIDIA control panel now. And just wait for this to load. Um, after that, we're going <laughs> to go down to where it says, where is it? Um, adjust desktop size and position. Wait, no. Change resolution. Here it is. You're going to go down and change resolution and you're going to make a new resolution. So this should still be the same where it says refresh rate 144 hertz. We're just going to want to press customize. And then right here where it says uh, create custom resolution. I already have mine made, but I'll make one for you guys just to show you. You're just going to click on create custom resolution. You're going to leave all this the same. Uh, you're just going to change the part where it says 1920. You're going to make a, a custom resolution that says 1798 by 1080. And then the uh, screen is going to black out like this. After you press test, it's going to black out. Um, and that's perfectly fine. It will say, do you want to use this resolution? Whatever, just, pr just press yes. And then um, after that, it's going to create the resolution. And then you're going to go down to where it says custom right here. And if you click it, you can even test it right here. So we're going to go, uh, we're going to click on the resolution and press apply. So we're just going to wait. And as you can see, it's going to change the screen up. So it says your desktop configuration has changed. Would you like to keep these changes? And then you're just going to press yes if, you, um, if you're if you loading in Fortnite or not. But usually when you load in Fortnite, it's automatically going to change the resolution. So you don't need to do this. Um, but I can actually show you guys once I start up Fortnite. So let me show you guys. So we're going to go into Fortnite right here. We're going to open this up. We're going to give a minute to load real quick. All right, so once it's loaded in, it will look stretched. As you can tell, the screen does look stretched. It doesn't look like it's uh, just like a normal screen size. So we're just going to go in. It's not really like super stretched, um, but this is like another another way around it. But as you can see, the screen is stretched now. So it looks... Um, looks a bit different the character is a little bit wider that's why a lot of people like to use this but i can even show you guys in creative how stretched it is right now just give me a minute just gonna wait for the game to load in
Alright, as you guys can see, this screen is stretched. But honestly, I like I like playing like this better just because uh, I don't know. I don't like the narrow characters. I like the wide characters. It looks a little, it looks a way better. I feel like the game is a lot smoother. What the hell? Oh my binds! Hold on. Yeah, there we go. As you guys can see, the game is stretched now. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment. I appreciate all that. And let's get to 3K. I'll see you guys later. Peace.